uh, run down the other uh, uh, sports stories uh, before we call it a wrap on today's edition. All right, uh, the next big story says Roy Keane. Uh, yes, Jose Moreno is uh, still in the news uh, this morning. Uh, Jose Moreno believes that uh, Paul Pogba uh, may have been lucky to escape a red card during Tottenham's defeat at Manchester United. <laughs> Tomorrow he's just good at giving excuses every time he loses. All right, let's go. That's what he does. As I said. Okay, but that's the evil. I think uh, it's, 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 it was answered right now. It, uh, uh, why? Because you, well, you can see the evil. It actually goes but what, how? To, to the to the. But look at the what, what, of okay, okay, but what happened there? How? You can see it. No, look at you. You can see what happened. They were they were they were going for the ball. Okay. It's in the course, they were all on flight. Okay. They were all in the course. Uh, you said the ball. Uh, Pogba they all in the natural position, the way it is. No, but that should be a red card or a yellow card. I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. see, there are times ball hits a player's hand and the okay. referee don't blow. Okay. Why is that? Because because it's your hand. hand. Your hand. Your hand. What's both hand? That means your hand. When in natural position. You put your ball naturally. Okay. Okay. So it, you don't call it foul. Now in this position now, they are all going for the ball. Look okay. at, it. and I'm sure Pogba was even ahead of him. Ahead of him. And initially he goes for the ball, you you you, you, you need you, to yes, shield. You, you shield, you try to shield. And you know Pop that being very very tall than okay, okay, than, okay. than this player. So where right. Sam is and where the player of course it's to come All to right, the you, you won the case. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that explanation makes it right. Actually the, the height of Popa is actually, it's actually taller. taller. All right, uh, the next talking point is Gary Neville is in the news at uh, this morning. Uh Gary Neville has praised Dean Henderson's courage after Manchester United came from behind to beat Tottenham 3-1. The 24-year-old keeper was in fine form as the Red claimed a vital bit. Let's look at Dean Henderson. Do you think it's fair dropping off David De Gea for Dean Henderson? Or you think it's because he's British or because he's younger? Do you think he has proved that he is the true heir apparent to David De Gea's number one position? I mean, um, yes, Tony. Um, Henderson has done well. I mean, all the, all the match he has kept yeah. so far because you, you, you assess players or goalkeeper based on results result. and how well he has done. But, um, of course, the game is a better keeper to Hardison. Because but of experience? experience no, because of experience and reflex yeah. and, and reading of the game, the game is a better keeper. But, of course, the player, a lot like Hardison, if you need him to be in that level of the game, you need to play him, play him in such Matches. matches now that's the only way you can get him to that level and also for the gear it will also make the gear now it will not put him on his stool and make him relaxed and make him more a better keeper because watching others in the post and seeing them win the match of course the gear where he's sitting will always do that look hey guy i need to work <laughs> hard i need to step up my game i need to keep clean sheets to get get, get back my number mm -hmm. one position sure. spot back yeah and my you have games to go. They have the UEFA, then they are playing the UEFA League. I think the UEFA League is the game that's keeping yes. the continental. So most coaches try to see how they can how they can share this duty between the two keepers they have. Because as it is now you need to start grooming yeah. at this thing as a yeah. good substitute for the yeah. game yeah. Yeah. going forward in case of injury or or, decide, or, to or leave. decide to leave. So I think Addison is doing well. And uh, congratulations to the young lad. His confidence is, is really yeah. amazing. Yeah. All right, uh, let's take you to Spain. They say when it rains in Spain, it pours. This time it did pour in El Clasico. Uh, so let's look at uh, Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Uh, let's see what, how the match played out. And when we come back after seeing the footage, uh, we're going to be chewing on it because Barcelona is his team. <laughs> is uh, crumbled so they say in uh, football and uh, Real Madrid the Galacticos getting one over Barcelona and I've got a Bas diehard Barcelona fan sitting right next to me he wasn't happy seeing that footage but we had to look at it what happened to Barcelona uh, would you agree that Barcelona is not just the team they used to be this season and would you put it down to Messi's uh, outburst no Tony I wouldn't I wouldn't want to agree to that Okay. Yes, um, before this game now, um, Baka have gone almost eight, nine games unbeaten. Right. They've been coming from the rise. And they are they, they, and they were able to close the gap between them and the leaders. Now, a classical, when you say a class a classical um, it's a different ball game entirely all over the world. Okay. Now when you talk about a classical, the first thing you look at a classical, it's the 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 the, the intensity of okay. the match. The game itself is what you try to look at, a classical. A classical can go either ways. 
Okay. In classical, most times I don't even look at the result. But of course, in the football, yes. But in football, yes, the result counts. You don't know who wins this game. But a classical itself, it was a very good match. It was a very, very good. But do you think the Galacticos deserved the victory? They, they, in, for me, in, in, in that game, they didn't do better. They didn't work more, more than Bar FC Barcelona worked harder than them in that match. FC Barcelona so worked harder. So what happened? What happened? That's, what, that's what I'm going to explain to you. Okay. The classical, it's something that's different. Now, the Barca team that played, the two goals they considered came from players that were playing their classical. They are playing their very first a classical. These are these are young lads that just came in. I hope you're not trying to give excuses for Barcelona. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not these players have been playing the La Liga matches. But when it comes to a, cla a classical, it's a different. To okay. play a classical, okay. it's a different ball game mentality. Right. Tony, Tony, when you're in a classical, <laughs> I mean a classical, right. everything, <laughs> even the referees, even the referees for a classical too. Yeah. They know when you are picked to option a classical, you know in you that this is a game that the whole world is what is the game that you need to manage. Yourself, you need to be okay. careful. Uh, we got uh, a an, uh, story out of that uh, classical. Is uh, Luka Modric told uh, Gerard Pique, "You are waiting uh, to crack now." After Real Madrid sealed the Vita 2-1 win over the fierce rivals in a battle for the La Liga, uh, the the result moves the Zidane side to uh, top of uh, La, La Liga, while Barcelona lie in third. Uh, Luka Modric mocked uh, Gerard Pique, saying Barcelona are now ready to crack. Pique, do you think it's true? that Barcelona are now ready to crack, according to Bordrich. No, no, it's not. Right. The league is still open. open. And, by the, and, and all back I need now is to win their remaining seven games. Is there a guarantee? The, of course, there's a guarantee. They beat Atletico, they win their remaining seven games, and then play, Madrid slips up points, the, the title is over. Okay, so it's not in their hands, yes. technically. No, technically it's in Barcelona's yes, hands sir. to win the league. All right. It's in their hands. All right, uh, that's how we're going to call it a wrap on today's edition of the program. Sports Right, I want to say big thank you to my partner in sport, <laughs> uh, Charles Ohaji, for doing a yeoman's job for me today, helping us uh, look at all the big stories. And we must say big kudos uh, to the Honorable Commissioner of uh, Youth Development, Youth and Sports Development of Nasara State in the person of Honorable uh, Otman Bala Adam, who has been extraordinary for that state, uh, making them go through a very revamped process in the exciting world of sports. Currently, Nasara is doing well in the National Sports Festival. They've chucked in some gold medals and that was in Scrabble and some other games. Uh, we're saying congratulations as he heads uh, to Edu State uh, this morning via flight uh, to meet uh, Team Nasara. All right, uh, that's how we call it a wrap. I want to say thank you to the entire production team for helping us come out to you this morning. My name is Anthony Momodo, the King of Sport. Thank you very much. Join me later today for other big, interesting programs. <laughs>